What's up YouTube, Kyle here to bring you guys another video. So I'm out here to give you guys a video on this deodorant here. This is from Native. Um, this is uh, surprisingly has just been randomly popular. Well, just according to the grocery store I mean, but like I was looking around for another uh, deodorant. I had this for at least three weeks or so. And um, I really wanted to do a review on it just cause like, I'm just like, okay, I've had it for a while. Kind of like know how it smells. Like, I've used it for a bit, so, yeah, so I'm just going to do a review on this thing. So, this is uh, the Lavender and the Rose um, scent. Uh, from uh, first uh, sniff, uh, it does give off that lavender feel, so it was fine initially. And then it does have this rose note as well. Uh, the rose note I'm not too fond of, like, yeah, like, I was never really too fond of rose. It's really weird for me, like. Yeah, sometimes I like it, depending, but it does say aluminum-free. This is good for uh, people who hate aluminum in the deodorant. Uh, I just have to go over what aluminum is on uh, in deodorant anyways. Hey, yeah, so after I'm doing some more research on what aluminum-free means, it's just basically aluminum is an ingredient that's used in deodorant that um, basically clogs up the... Uh, uh, holes in your armpits therefore like um, making your armpit produce less sweat uh, I was just looking up YouTube like I wanted to make sure I knew what this was before I even talked to it right but yeah aluminum free basically means that um, it's free of that aluminum product even though it says in those videos I was watching that aluminum, aluminum may cause you cancer when you're um, in close contact with it on a constant basis but yeah um, from what those videos I've watched from, um, in terms of researchers or doctors, they're stating that um, because of the amount of research that people are doing uh, doctor-wise and experiments, they're saying that uh, aluminum is um, is safe for you, or they, they've they done enough um, tests stating that aluminum in uh, deodorant products is safe for you, but essentially, like, aluminum in the uh, deodorant does cause irritation and I do find that it does happen when I've, when I've had like um, enough like with my deodorants where I'm just like oh, I just see like red uh marks on my like armpits. I'm like what the hell, so it's just like having this aluminum free because like for me like, I have like <laughs> my skin gets irritated when I use like deodorant, like uh, the antiperspirant and I'm just like okay like this is like annoying. So after using this like, um I don't have that irritant like uh, feeling and it just feels clean down there you know what I mean in the armpits I mean but yeah like overall it's a good product just not too fond of the smell I went across the street today uh, the grocery store smelled the other ones um the coconut and vanilla one I like I just didn't want to buy it even though I had an offer I was just like yeah I have a lot of deodorant so don't need to buy this right now so maybe later on I'll do a video on that one uh, unless they come up with something else other scent I like but yeah overall yeah it's pretty good let me just go over the notes for the ingredient list for anyone who's curious so for these long words I will not understand unless I search them out so I'm not gonna bother reading them and there's like magnesium here um, there's coconut oil which I'm fine with there's some shea butter um, I'm not gonna bother reading out the um, bigger words where I don't understand <laughs> Uh, okay, and there's lavender oil. So some some things here would probably give them the rose scent because initially it doesn't seem like they're using rose unless I actually look at it. But yeah, overall it's okay. Um, made in San Francisco, so that's why it's pricey. It's like fifteen dollars Canadian. If you find it in a superstore, uh, it's around twenty dollars Canadian in shoppers. It was very expensive. Like yeah, like. For me at that point, I'd rather buy a designer like or a luxury type of like fragrance, like uh, deodorant, but like if you want to try it out, try it out, you know what I mean? Like for me, the, this itself works. It doesn't make my skin irritate. So it's definitely a good product, just not fond of the scent. But yeah, if you guys like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, like, share this video for anyone who uh, finds it informative. And if you guys want me to share the... Uh, the videos I was watching for in terms of aluminum free, I can just post them in the description. Just to shout out those 
just for a reference point, you know what I mean? Like, I did not, I didn't do too much research, but I watched, like, some things, and I was just like, okay, enough, like, from two different, like, studies or doctor, but yeah. I'm not a doctor, so just listen to what they say, basically. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.